Hello, hello, my good, good farmers. I'm back again. I'm here, Kev Farmer, with an exciting, exciting, exciting episode on knowledge on agriculture. What are these factors that help us understand our soil nutrition, or what are these things that help or may hinder the uptake of nutrients in the soil? That is what I want us to learn today, and. Uh, for two factors that we are going to tackle in before we go together remember to subscribe to share comment and sh and uh, and like this video if it will be of help to you you see this gadget a very important tool that help us in soil nutrition it helps in uh, knowing the ph that we are working on on this ground it helps in knowing the moisture content in the soil that you are working on those two are very important because once your ph is correct and once your moisture content is correct you are able to monitor your nutrient absorption from the soil to the crop and you have a healthy crop just as you're seeing this here let me remind you that ph is the acidity or the alkalinity of the soil and that helps or may affect the nutrients absorption in your crop how these nutrients are assimilated from the soil to the crop they are affected by those two factors so what how do we know the uh, soil ph this tool that i have shown you helps me in knowing the soil ph you place it on the ground it has some some readings there from ph when the alkaline side and when the soil is acidic on this side it will read it has a, a bar here that will read same with moisture content like where i've placed it make sure it's well placed uh, let me zoom for you you see it's reading seven around 7.2 that's our alkaline soil not too bad to work with when you're having this kind of a project of vegetables the problem could be once your soil is too acidic the soil nutrition or uptake uh, doesn't happen because some NPK the macronutrients are not readily available under those acidic acid very acidic environment and you find that you're adding fertilizer you're adding fertilizer you're adding fertilizer and there is no assimilation or there is no usage of that fertilizer that you have placed on the ground so ph is very important to your farmers you have to monitor it because once it is correct how to call to me a fertilizer nyingi you'll be to not be able to detect ah that i added fertilizer and it is not working what is the problem why is it that i added nitrogen the can and now the the vegetative the vigor of the crop is not there that could be a ph problem something else it could be uh, salt in the soil salinity it's another problem that comes in and affects absorption of nutrients in the soil there is those chlorides there is those sodium ions in the soil sodicity that may influence the uptake of nutrients so you have to do a soil analysis that's why it's very important to do our soil analysis a water test for you to be able to know that your soil has a problem has sodium has uh, chloride that and now once you have that information once you have that science with you as you apply the art of it you're going to know uh, to control sodium i'm supposed to do one two three to control chloride i'm supposed to do one two three because sodium in the soil is another big problem it's locked nutrients uptake in the soil yeah it cements the the soil and there is no infiltration of water you're you're working 
uh, soil structure is destroyed by sodium and you should know that once you have that information you are going to know now uh, how do i rectify my watering regime my your water could have been having chloride ions that are locking up nutrients once you have that they will cement your ground and they will be very hard to work on those grounds you you see and once there is that problem even the root development is very very poor and once your roots are poor the uptake of nutrients automatically become very poor and the health of your crop will not be good so dear farmers you have to monitor that once the sodium ions are too high the result, the result are soil crusting infiltration service crusting cementing those terms that we use to describe you the ground is too hard it makes it unworkable that's why we say do a soil test and it will help you in managing these problems as they come you have to be prepared as a farmer you have to have this chemistry you have to have this science because once you have it and you encounter it in your soil you are going to know now these are the solutions and they are done in this way one two three and four and you are going to have such a nice crop as you can see in this field which will translate to yield and that yield we translate to good income agribusiness concept you will be have succeeded you have to have this knowledge farmers because it is very very important once your soil ph is low you need to increase the acidity by adding ammonium sulfate you once your soil is alkaline and you, the crop you want to work in need to be boosted you can apply something like wood ash it helps a lot once you you want to increase your your ph what do you do we do rhyming you add rhyme to your soil or you add daromite there is a component called daromite it's very important it helps in rectifying some of this problem that you may encounter in your farm keep learning keep subscribing have a nice time keep yielding whatever you feed will always grow a seed in the ground in the granary cannot be compared to a seed on the ground on the soil this is k farmer keep learning a sunday